Hey and welcome back. Do you edit in iMovie, Windows Movie Maker or another basic video editor? If the answer is yes, then this is the video for you. There is a way of being able to take your videos one step further by doing what the pros do and that's color grading. And the best part is it won't cost you a thing. You won't need to pay for any fancy software like Final Cut, Premiere Pro or After Effects. Instead, you'll be able to use something that costs nothing. The good thing about this process is it's just one extra step to how you already edit your videos at the moment. So let's just jump right in and get started. So whatever software you use, go ahead and edit your next video exactly how you would do any of your other videos. Then save it out as you would normally save it out. Now once you are at this part, open Google and search for DaVinci Resolve. Click on the first web address that comes up and then select download. Don't worry about DaVinci Resolve 14 Studio. You want the first one on the left, DaVinci Resolve 14. Select the right one for your operating system, fill out your details and then select download. Once it's downloaded, follow the instructions on the screen and get it installed. Next, I will link to some sites in the description for where you can download yourself some free LUTs to get you started. Go ahead and download whichever ones you want and open that folder and keep it open on your desktop as we will need that soon. Now we can start the fun part. Step one. Open DaVinci Resolve and select New Project. Call it whatever you like and select Create. Step 2. Drag and drop your newly edited video into DaVinci Resolve, then drag your clip down into the timeline. Step 3. Along the bottom, select the Color tab, which will bring up a load of options. Don't worry, it looks way more complex than it is. Plus you can ignore most of it unless you want to experiment with exposure, curves and levels etc. In the bottom hand corner there is a settings cog. Click it and select color management. Step 4. Scroll down until you see open LUT folder. Now click it. This will open a finder window and this is where you drag your LUT files into. Once you have dragged in your LUT files, close the finder window and select Update Lists. Step 5. Under the 3D Input Lookup table, drop this down and select one of the LUTs you've just added in and then click Save. Step 6. If you want to or if you know how to, you can make any small adjustments at this point. I'm increasing the lift gamma and gain on this as the LUT made my shadows quite dark. I'm also going to move the temp to the cooler side as the LUT made my footage too warm for my liking. Step 7. Once you are happy with how your footage looks, go back to the bottom and select the Deliver tab. If your footage is for YouTube, then select the correct resolution that your original video was saved out in. My original was 1920 by 1080 so I will select that under the YouTube tab. Make sure the codec is set to H.264 and then for the format select MP4. Finally select the correct frame rate for your footage. Mine was shot in 24 frames per second so I will select 24 then leave everything else as it is. Step 8. Select Add Surrender Queue then select the destination to save your video. I always save mine on the desktop first then move it from there. Once you have your destination selected, select OK, then on the right hand side click Start Render. Sit back and watch your video save out. Here is the side by side comparison from the original and the graded clip. See, you don't always need expensive software to achieve similar results to other people that edit their videos for YouTube. You now know how to take your footage and give it a little something extra to make your video stand out. I hope you found this useful and as always thank you for watching. To those already subscribed, I will see you next time and to those who aren't, what's the matter with you? That was just for you Pamela from Life with Munchers. Hopefully see some of you in the next video. Laters. <laughs>